Hey, what's going on guys? Just giving you a quick video on how you can use your iPad in Blackboard Collaborate. It's actually a pretty easy process. It's not as hard as maybe some people think and I'm pretty sure a few of you have already figured this out. But just wanted to show you how you want to actually use your iPad if you have one or any Apple device in Blackboard Collaborative. It's pretty awesome. Let's check it out. Okay. So let's see if we can get into Blackboard Collaborate, which is very easy to get into. So of course, here's my iPad, you know, configuration. So just going to your web browser, in this case, go to your Safari. So if you are using your iPad, you go into Safari, okay? And as you can see, here's my dashboard, okay? My staff dashboard, faculty dashboard. So you can go into any one of your classes, it doesn't matter which. So in my case, I'm going to go into Intermediate Algebra, since Intermediate Algebra for me is every Tuesday and Thursday. But you can go into any one of them that you want. All right, so just go into whatever shell that you have. Okay, and I want you to take a look on the left side. I'm pretty sure that you have received a lot of instructions on how to get into uh, Blackboard Collaborate. So again, just go into your shell. Make sure you are in my courses you know, whatever you're seeing there. So go into my courses and then go to whatever class that you're going to actually start broadcasting in, whichever one you're using and look to your left. And I want you to look until you see Collaborate Ultra. Okay. So you're going to click on that tab right here on the left, Collaborate Ultra. Okay. And it pops up. Okay. So in this case, you have this blank session, which you haven't started yet. And again, very simple to do. Very simple to do, especially on iPad and in, in my personal opinion, maybe slightly easier. But whatever means that you're going to use, iPad would probably be one of your better tools to use with Blackboard Collaborate because you can use your pen to write down any notes you want. But before I get into all that, let's show you how to get into it. Okay. So of course you're going to create your session. And in this case, I'm going to start it with test session. Okay. So that is my test session. All right. And you see how it's going to give you your anonymous pin. So as you probably have read before, uh, you can give uh, this uh, number out for those that want to listen in through their phone if they don't have any other means of audio. So not going to go deep into it. Again, some instructions may have shown you how to do that. So, but that's what it's used for. So you can go into your phone or have them call with the pen, dial in for, uh, you know, for audio access. Uh, that way they can get into it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do it as moderator, but you can do it as, you know, your different uh, options, as you can tell. So you have participant, presenter, moderator. So I do believe it should be moderator for those that are going to be doing some lecturing or presenter. I think either or is fine. Whatever the instructions say, go by that. Okay, and for your session, okay, you can do any time frame. In this case, that's the time I'm starting off with, with 8 uh, 12, but of course, I'm not going to go into 9 12. It's not going to be that long. <laughs> so, really, I'm just going to stop it at like, was it 8? So, let's do it at, let's say, 8 20. Okay, that should be a good enough time. And you do have the option to repeat the session or not end the session at all. So, you do have those options. Uh, early entry 15 minutes before time but you can do that time at any time uh, you could do 30 minutes 45 minutes 60 minutes doesn't matter or no early entry it's up to you but I'll keep it that default for this one 15 minutes before start time all right and you can go to your session settings all right now I want you to check out allow recording downloads these are for your participants okay so make sure to click that if you want your downloads or your recordings to be downloaded, if you want to allow that option. Okay, you can do that here. So click on allow recording downloads, of course, for your participants. And of course, as a moderator, you'll be able to do that as well. I'll show you that later in the video. Okay, but please make sure that you allow recording downloads. So if your students want to download the recording, if they ever want to go back for any thing at all they are allowed to go through that okay but everything else is pretty much standard I would say keep those as they are don't change them up any way you want uh, but if you more 
uh, well versed with it, then of course you can play around with it, you know, at any given point in time. And if you want to show your profile, you can do that as well. Uh, if you want to show your face, I would say, yeah, maybe try it. I'm going to try it out for myself when we start these sessions. So, you know, but I would say just keep it as, as the way it is for now. And you see your private chats. Uh, you can definitely go and play with those, you know, play around with those at any time. All right. So again, allow recording downloads. That is in session settings. Event details should be good to go. All right. So, so for that test session. All right. So it should say join the session, but of course it says get secure link, but we're going to join the session. Okay. So you allow your session to pop up here. I'm going to give it a little time. I know sometimes, it, you know, as you can see, I'm joining as myself. So again, give it a few minutes. Uh, it's going to take a little time. And you can explain to your students that depending maybe on their Wi-Fi connection, uh, you know, but even if it's a fast Wi-Fi connection, it may still, you know, take a little time because it is trying to get the session together, make sure everything is there, all your whiteboards, even if you're trying to upload files, it's going to do all that for you. Okay, so still waiting for it to pop up here. Hopefully it will pop up. It did before because I did some testings before and I'll show you my test recordings as well. So we'll give it some time here. So once your test session starts, now of course it's going to ask you certain things like would you like to access the microphone? Because we talked about the microphone and possibly using video as well. So naturally you want to hit allow. Okay. Now I want you to look at the bottom of your screen there. So you'll see at the bottom you have, well, that definitely that little circle where you have a little check, that's you. All right. So you have the microphone, you have the uh, video camera or, you know, icon for the video camera and this little fourth button here, that's for a student if they want to ask you a question. So they can hit that little button there or that little icon to say, hey, I got a question. Oh, of course, can you go over whatever it is? All right. So now before we get there, I want you to look at the bottom right here of this little pinkish tab. I want you to look at the bottom right here. So you have this little pinkish tab right here. OK, hit that. Now I want you to take a look at this. So here, this little chat icon. You can do a little chat if you want to say, you know, maybe give them like little notes here and there. Maybe I don't know, but you can give them that, you know, in this case, I'm just saying just testing. Just going to do that, you know, show that, let them know, say, hey, OK, I'm here. I'm just testing. There you go. OK, so you can do that or. You can see who's there. They're your attendees, so you can see who's actually there. OK, so. Right now, it's just me. <laughs> Nobody should be there, at least not this time of night. I'd be wondering why. But it's just me. You can see, you know, who attended, who's on. You know, hopefully everybody will jump on. If uh, everybody has the instructions, it'd be easy to do. All right. The next one, that little icon with a little curved arrow. So you see what you have here? Now, I want you to check these out now. So you got your share blank whiteboard, share files, polling, breakout groups. All right. So with the share blank whiteboard, this is where you can actually do your writing. So if you want to do your writing, okay, there you go. Especially if you have an Apple pen, you could do your writing. Or if you don't have really thing to write, then just, you know, and I just use my little uh, eraser there. So you can use a little eraser to kind of clear out everything. You could type up anything you want to. So if you want to type up things, and of course you can do it in any different color you want. Okay, any color you want. All right, so let's say I'm going to type up something, do it in red. I can do it anywhere on the whiteboard, anywhere I want, okay? I can do it anywhere. And, of course, I can go back to my writing, you know, like look at this or look at that. And I can change any color. I can do yellow. I can do, you know, use your imagination. You can do anything you want. And, of course, it takes practice to kind of get used to it. Now, you know, if you don't want, you know, this, this whole little... Uh, what you call a little menu on the, on, the, on the right side here. Just take it out. Hit the little X. You have your full screen with the whiteboard. Okay, you can do anything you want. Write it up, type it up any way you want to. And you see this little uh, right here on the left, um, uh, right underneath the three lines here. So that little uh, magnifying glass, you hit that if you want to have P or have yourself zoom in. And of course, you can mess around with it. And you can take that to kind of match up and you have a little ratio there. 
So you can really play around with how big you want your uh, whiteboard on your tablet or phone. Okay. Now, the other ones here, you can actually, now, if you don't really want to write and say, ah, let's just go through the notes that I'm already uploaded. I don't really want to write on the white or write on the whiteboard. Well, here you go. Share your files. Any PDFs you have, any PowerPoints you have, any images you have, you can upload it right there. You just hit that and you can go to like anywhere you may have it, like your browser or, or browse whatever files you have, photo library, take photo any way you want. You can do that at any time. And when it's uploaded, share now. It'll go to your students and they all have it. Okay. Polling, you can ask any questions you want to about polling. It's up to you. Okay. Also, you can break them up into groups. So you can have as many groups as you want. You know, you can add two, three, four, doesn't matter. It's up to you. Use your imagination. See? So you can, you know, of course, customize the assignment, however you want to do it. You know, I'll let you. Well, you can always go in and, and explore it on your own. I know I will. But for now, we'll just keep it as, as it is. We'll just look at the whiteboard and sharing some files. Okay. Now, as that is going on, I want to make sure that my microphone, because my microphone wasn't on, so I'm going to click that. So now you see that it's on. So you see the turn green. That lets you know that it's on now. So now my voice is being recorded. So as that little uh, volume kind of jumps up and down, it lets you know that it is catching my voice. Video, allow it. Yes, it will ask you the same thing. Will you allow it? Of course I'm allowing it. You want to see me, right? Oh, so there I go. Share. And so now everything was done. My, my session was done. My session is good. Good to go. But where did my recordings go? Where did they go? Well, again, top left, right here where it says sessions, go to those three lines, hit that. Now you see where your name is, where your sessions are, and your recording. So you're going to hit that recording tab. And everything should be everything should be recorded. Everything should be recorded. Looking good. All right. So I'm going to hit this first one here, test session, and I can just tap that, and of course watch now. Yeah, I'll watch it now. Sure. And of course it will pop up. Students can download it, just like I showed you before, if you allow them to download it. Here it is, Blackboard Collaborate, and I'm just going to let it play for a little bit, and there you go. And now my session is being recorded. So I, you can hear me talk, you can you know, hear me speak, and all of the good stuff, and I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing. Okay, I'm going to clear up, give a nice little something, something. Okay, I'm going to go back to writing again, writing, writing, writing. Okay, there's my session. I gave you a nice stellar whatever, right? Okay. But also now this. So there you go. So now your session has been recorded. Students can now uh, download the video and they can hear you talk as you're writing. And so now you're 
pretty much gave them like a whole bunch of notes. They really have no excuse now. So they can go back and forth with it. They can look at the video. They can uh, look at it as many times they want as long as they downloaded it. Okay. And it will be downloaded as an MP4. So let's say if you do want to download that session, well, download recording. And it will tell you, okay, collab recording, MP4, and you can give it a different name, I'm pretty sure, uh, when you download it. If you want to, that's up to you. That's up to the student. But you can download it at any time you want. It will be stored there for you. But there you have it. You can create a video, nice lecture in Collaborate, really nice off, 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 off the uh, iPad. So if you can do your iPad or if your phone, if, as long as you have uh, a writing utensil, you can do it pretty easy. So it's a pretty awesome tool that you can use here. So there you go. There you go. I'm going to get out of it now. So test it out, try out, try out for yourself. Uh, so if you have any other questions, you know my email. I'll definitely post that at the bottom in, uh, in the comment session, uh, section. Uh, if you have any comments, good or bad, put them down below. So make sure that everything is good. I can definitely make some better videos if, if anything looks a little bit uh, off, okay? So trust me, more you know, constructive criticism it will help me out a lot. All right, but in the meantime, practice, 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 and study it as much as you can. Play around with it, see what it does. But I see that for the collaborate, uh, using it for your iPad is a, is a pretty awesome tool. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. Next time, be good to each other.